Veronica, tell me about what's been going on with you. Well, um, I'm a graduate student now, and I'm pretty concerned about how I've been feeling before I take tests. Hmm. I notice uh, your hands, you're kind of, are you feeling a little nervous now even? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm a little anxious. Mm -hmm. How long have you been bothered by test anxiety? Um, I would say anywhere from five to six months. Hmm. And what are the feelings that you have associated with that? Um, I just become overly anxious. I, before I take a test, I, I really think about it a lot. And then when I get in there, I freak out and I panic and um, my stomach starts to hurt and mm -hmm. I just feel really nervous. Mm -hmm. And are you aware of what you say to yourself when you're feeling this way? Um, I would say I probably think a lot about failing the test and what would happen if I were to fail and mm -hmm. things like things along those lines. And do you feel this way in any other situations? Um, usually it's, it's just revolves around school and test and being overwhelmed with everything that's going on, I think. Okay. Give me an example. Uh, is there a situation this semester, for instance, where um, you have felt this way about a test? Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I, I had um, about three exams in, in one week, and I didn't really know how to study beforehand, and I, I was really concerned about not being able to focus on one specific exam. I, I wanted to just take all of my time and study, but I didn't know how to do it, and it really concerned me. Uh, so you, you can't concentrate, and you have physical symptoms that make you feel anxious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you tell yourself that you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. We have a, a way of helping people that have test anxiety. Um, it's called systematic desensitization, and it's uh, partly a behavioral um, strategy. And we, we try to teach uh, you how to uh, relax. Um, do you notice if you have trouble relaxing? I do. I tense up a lot. I think I'm pretty tense right now. Mm -hmm. So it might be helpful for you, uh, not just for tests, but uh, in general, if you could learn how to relax. Mm -hmm. Possibly. I would think so. Mm -hmm. You've probably learned to feel anxious around tests and just as you've learned to do that you can learn to relax and we ask uh, we ask people who have this to um, learn how to relax and then how to associate relaxation with situations and images that had been anxiety provoking for them such as tests um, classrooms teachers so, uh, would you like to try to learn how to, to relax about tests instead of being anxious? I would. I would really li like to learn how to relax before a test. Mm -hmm. uh, to do this, um, why don't you uh, tell me uh, what it's like when you, when you go in uh, to take a test? What are some of the things that you see and some of the ways that you feel when you go into to the room to take a test? Well, I start to sweat a lot with my hands. I, I start to fidget. Um, my stomach, I have butterflies in my stomach. Um, I just sit down and I'm just kind of overwhelmed with just the idea of actually taking a test. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go over that. Uh, you come into the room and you start to Fidget. Fidget. My stomach gets upset. I uh -huh. start becoming really anxious. Okay, you start to fidget, and you're, you're, you start to feel your st stomach get upset. Mm -hmm. uh, then what are some other things that might happen? Um, I just kind of panic. I just sit there, and I just, I don't know how to focus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then what are some of the... Uh, the the worst things that happen happen to you when you're feeling like that. 
Um, what are some of the worst things that mm -hmm. have happened? Mm -hmm. I felt like I was going to have to leave the room and get vomit, get sick. Mm -hmm. I was so anxious. Okay. So let's see. Um, you come into the room and you start to fidget and uh, maybe uh, play with your hands or uh, feel some tension in your hands. Um, and then uh, you may tell yourself that you're you're worried or you're not going to be able to do well on the exam. And then you might actually um, f feel like getting sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well what we're going to do is take each of those images from ones that aren't quite so anxiety provoking all the way up to the ones that are the most anxiety provoking. And with each stage, at each level, um, in that hierarchy, um, I'm going to ask you to try to relax. And what we're going to try to do is get you to relax while you're imagining yourself in those anxiety-provoking situations. Okay. And then when, when it actually happens, uh, what we hope is that each of those uh, situations will actually be a cue for you to relax instead of feeling anxious. We also need to teach you how to relax, and so I'd like to uh, help you do that, too. Uh, we, we use a process called deep muscle relaxation. And to do that, you need to relax uh, from your feet all the way up to your body. So um, why don't we just practice that for just a moment? Um, why don't we start with your feet? Can you just feel your, your muscles in your feet? and? Let me ask you to tense them up just for a little bit and then let them go. You feel a difference? Mm -hmm. And then tense up your knees and see if you can feel a little more tension there, then relax those. Okay, can you feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the process that we're gonna use. So I'll, I'll uh, teach you to learn how to relax and then we'll go through this hierarchy of images and uh, with each image, I'll ask you to imagine yourself in that situation and then uh, to relax. And then we'll go to the next image. And if you can feel relaxed, then we'll go up to the, the little, little more anxiety-provoking situation. Okay. And if you can uh, relax then, then we'll proceed uh, all the way to the most anxiety-provoking situation. And as you learn to relax each time, um, you'll be able to control the experience that you have felt. When it used to be a cause of anxiety, it'll now become uh, a cause of, of, of relaxation. So tell me, uh, does this sound like it's a, a workable uh, proposition? I think so. Okay. Well, we'll try it. We'll first get you to feel some tension and then to relax, and I hope it helps you. Okay.